Okay, everyone, here we have uh, the enclosure of my female fauna Pelma hensi. This is the one that started it all, really. Um, well, started it back. I had a Gramostola species, Rosea porteri, and I'm not really quite sure, um, for 11 years, and it passed away. It was kind of a whim purchase. I didn't really study much about them. Um, you know, we started out on sand like the pet store told us and we changed the cocoa fiber we were throwing boxes of crickets in there because we didn't learn any better but it when it died it was a it was about three or four months later this one here showed up at work now i live in mccain pennsylvania and i work in erie pennsylvania and you don't see tarantulas here um, our company uh, has a plant in monterey mexico and when we ship stuff to them they return empty skids this one was in the skids so when they were moving the skids in the plant she came bolting out somebody caught her somebody told me about it i went up and looked at it and uh, he said to go ahead and take it home so this one really kicked things off for me um, and really got me into it a lot heavier than what i ever was i learned a lot studied a lot um, we're going to feed her an adult male dubia roach, see if we can get her to come out. These plants, I'm going to move these out of the way, just so you guys can see better. her to come on out. She's a very, very pretty specimen. I think the Afana Pelmas are way underrated, especially here in the States. I think it's because they're here in the States that uh, a lot of people don't really keep them. I know a lot of people out West do because they can get them, you know, in the wild, but it seems like it's a, the, the genus itself is kind of lost here and on the East side of the States. And I don't think that there's tons of them in Canada. I don't normally do this. I don't normally tong for you, but I'm going to see if we can get her to come out. There she is. That was quick. Anyway, I don't know if I can get you guys in there to see her or not. Probably not the way she is. I'll try and tilt it up a little bit, but... Try and home in on the. No, you're not going to see much of her unless she comes back out. So I will, will stop rambling for this video. Um, sometimes she'll bring the food back out of the, her hide there. I'll go ahead and put the plants back where they were. She likes to hide right in the corner. Um, right here, so to see her abdomen sticking up and the rest of her straight down inside. I don't think you actually saw that because I'm zoomed in. Sorry about that. Anyway, she likes to hide over here in this little spot. I was actually kind of surprised to see her in her hut. She doesn't stay in there very much. <clears throat> so, you could thank her for me. Um, got me into the hobby. Met, met, uh, I met so many great people on the boards, um, well, Facebook sites, and uh, people around here that keep them. It's, uh, it, it has been a treat. And again, I have a penultimate male, which I'm going to check here soon. Um, a friend got for me to mate with her. So hopefully sometime this year we'll have a uh, breeding of the fauna palmahenses and we'll have uh, maybe a little baby spider sometime next year. So thanks for listening to me ramble and watching Monterey. Uh, I named her from the city that we think she came from but she probably wasn't actually in Mexico. It was probably a stopover uh, one of the trucks. Um, we, we can't be sure for sure. All we know is what she is, and um, that was 
ID'd by Spermathicae from her molt, um, from a pretty trusted uh, keeper over in California. So, yeah, well, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll look forward to doing a few more videos. I'll probably do a few more tonight, uh, upload them singly, um, so you can just kind of focus on the spider. Um, this one is more just listening to me ramble, but uh, one of these days we'll get her out and you'll be able to see what she looks like. Maybe I can kind of do what, they, what all the other teachers do. I don't like to do this, but we'll kind of lift it up and you can see her in there. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous tarantula. Molted not that long ago, so yeah, there she is. So again, thanks, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, leave your comments. I'll be happy to answer any questions about my tarantulas, the myself, um, my enclosure choices, different aspects of the hobby. Uh, feel free to ask. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.